Welcome back to OFR. Today we'll be taking a look at the Stockholm TV bench from IKEA. In my opinion, it definitely has a better quality finish than other TV benches I reviewed so far, but is the price of this TV bench justified? Let's go more into depth. If you shop at IKEA for furniture, you know what to do. Click that subscribe button and the bell so you don't miss any of our furniture review videos. So let's start with the material. Like most furniture from IKEA, the main materials that make up this TV bench are particle board and fiberboard. But the main difference with the Stockholm is that its veneer is made up of walnut. Walnut is considered a hardwood, so scratching the surface will take a bit more effort on your part. IKEA also added an extra layer of lacquer to make the surface even more durable. Another plus is that handprints don't really show up that much on the surface, but if any smudges do show up, cleaning the Stockholm is really easy. The measurements on top of the TV bench are 15 and 3 quarter inches in width and 63 inches in length. My TV is 49 inches and it fits proportionally well to this TV bench. I even had some extra space on the side if I wanted to add some decorative items. IKEA also provides you with hardware to fasten the TV unit to the wall, but you'll have to buy the screw yourself. For your reference, the height of the Stockholm TV bench is 19 and a half inches. Another good thing that I noticed about this TV bench is that the height of the legs are adjustable. If you have uneven floors, there won't be a problem with your TV falling over. Plus, the legs are made up of solid ash, which is a hardwood, so the possibility of dents are less likely to be shown than, say, when you're comparing it to pine. Now let's move on to the three storage areas. The height of this area is about 9 and a quarter inches, and the width is about 19 and a half inches. It's a good amount of space if you have a smaller cable box or smaller items like napkins and coasters that aren't being used. You may have a problem with fitting larger things like home audio systems. Each storage area also comes with one shelf that can be adjusted to two different heights. Another cool feature of this TV bench is that all three storage areas have cable outlets. You can run wires from the bottom of the TV bench to limit wire clutter. One small problem I have with the Stockholm TV bench has to do with the storage doors. When you're sliding the doors in, it's not as smooth as I would imagine. It sometimes gets stuck and you have to wiggle the door back and forth so it can fully slide it in. Another problem is that it's hard to get a grip on the door as it doesn't pop out far enough. I wish it came out more or IKEA incorporated some type of handle. It was a pretty easy build as it took me a bit more than 45 minutes to complete and if you're transporting the packages yourself, the dimensions of the first package are 64 and 3 quarter inches in length, 16 and a half inches in width, and 3 and a quarter inches in height. The dimensions of the second package are 64 and 3 quarter inches in length, 16 and a quarter inches in width, and 2 inches in height. Obviously better quality materials come at a higher price, so in Canada, the Stockholm TV bench goes for $499 and in America, you can purchase it for $399. If you're looking for a natural and vintage style TV bench and willing to spend a bit more, then it's definitely worth the purchase. In my opinion, the price is too high for the quality I expect it to have. Smash that like button if you enjoyed the video and screw that subscribe button if you want to see more furniture review videos.